got a lot of leaves in the road. Yeah. We'll keep it pretty hard through here. Looks like we're pretty much. Filling the gutters up so fast. Go ahead and get the film on it. It's filling up the drain system so fast that it can't. It has no choice but to come up right there. A lot of rain quickly.
been able to really get focused on it so you can see it. Plus, I was trying to hold the camera by hand and focus in on it. It just didn't work out too well. Uh, we're only driving 30 miles per hour. And rain, rain's coming down pretty good. This is, uh, this is just a small thunder cell that's coming across. Uh, we got water over the fleet lane in front of us coming up here. Trying to catch the edge of it. This is, uh, we see this all year. There's never really a season where thunderstorms are more, less likely to occur or more likely to occur. We have you know, thunderstorms and tornadic activity, 365, and on leap years, 366 days a year. So this is pretty normal luck for us. We're starting to see a little more lightning. From the radar, it appeared that this little cell had, was over us in passing, but it doesn't appear that, that it's gone yet. It seems like it's kind of just sitting on top of us at the moment. Instead of moving, it's just kind of stalled out. We're only about 300 yards away from the shopping center where the food giant is here in the heart of Huey Town. It's now passing Dabbs Avenue on Huey Town Road, 19th Street. The southern side of the parking lot is pretty good. Water running across. Turn a little back west, We're headed east at the moment. You can't really tell on the camera, but if you can see the drain right there in front of us, it's it's pretty actively being filled at this moment. Yeah, the wipers in the way. Kayla is my trusty camera operator for the moment. Keeps checking her phone so the camera keeps moving. <laughs> Go ahead and move it towards the tree line there. A little bit of the tree line. We're going to see if we can catch a little bit of this lightning that's, that's popping over the tree line. Since normally Seth Bembenek is the only person that ever watches my YouTube channel, he'll probably be the first and only one to watch this. Now, I am the uh, Disaster Deployment Coordinator for Sylvan Springs Amateur Radio Club. I am a uh, technician class amateur radio uh, operator. And we just got a really nice view of cloud-to-cloud -cloud lightning. I'm not sure if the camera was focused in on it at this moment, um, but we'll see if we can catch another little event right in there. It's actually above. See the light without a, with a bulb out? It was directly above that is where the cloud-to-cloud -cloud lightning was. Really a spectacular shot. I hope the camera got it. But this cell seems to have kind of stalled over us. Um, I'm going to get Kayla to check her radar real fast. Now, I do have an account through Zello, Z-E-L-L-O.com. You can download the uh, mobile app or you can download the app for your computer. And what it does is it turns your computer or your Android phone into a two-way Nextel. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah, phone. And it also works on your iPhone. Um, and it turns your your your, uh, your phone or your computer into a sort of two-way, like a Nextel. Um, it operates, it's just voice over IP. And during um, storm events like this, we normally come out, get a little bit of film, try to, um, try to catch the weather. And it looks as though 
looking at the radar um, that this cell is just past us now. I'm going to try to get the camera to look at it. Give it a second to render the rain and then we'll focus the camera on it. And just as I said, it seems like it stalled. It seems that it just has moved away. It's going to take a few minutes for it to load. I don't have any connection out here. We're still seeing a good bit of lightning off to the west. Um, I think we got that just then. Angle up just a little bit above the tree line. Lightning is more back lightning than it is anything. According to what we're seeing on the radar, there's, there's really not anything right directly here. It's not loading. Okay, just give it a second. I'm gonna turn it over. It's not gonna load. There. Say now it's gonna it's gonna freak it out again. Okay, this is what we're seeing on the radar. The red stick pin is where we are. So according to the radar, the the heaviest part of this cell is directly over us, which we're actually on the top leading left edge, which is northwest right now. And we're seeing the lightning come directly out of the west from us, so that's the direction we're facing. So the, the oblong orange that you see on the radar is what we're watching with the camera. Well, alrighty, we'll head on back down. Now, this will probably be part two or even three of the video that I will upload to YouTube. A little bit of ham radio noise there. Just someone keyed up the repeater and sent out the, the identification tone. So we'll be heading back down and turning on the long view and going home. Right now the rain has pretty much just come to a sprinkle. It's currently 1124, it's 2324 hours and it is 67 degrees out here, it's kind of warm. We're seeing how just a week ago it was in the lower 40s with this storm front coming through, this, this cold front we've got moving down coming through, it's, it's got the temperatures up kind of, kind of warm. It's not surprising that these uh, little storm cells are popping up, seeing that the cool air behind it is pushing through this warm gulf moisture so create a little bit of a little bit of hit or miss thunderstorm cells you know popping up in, in front of the front which is supposed to pass through Tuesday to Wednesday and they're showing mo more of our chances of rain on Wednesday and slightly into Thursday which is kind of funny looking at weather underground. It's supposed to be sunny and clear today and Tuesday, but since when could weathermen tell the weather, much less the future? So. But you can uh, check out our uh, ham radio website at www.ssarc-al.com and you can also watch Active Weather Radar at Wonderground which is www.wunderground.com wonderground.com um, it's a handy little tool if you set it up right you can see you know the difference between regular thunderstorms rotating thunderstorms and even thunderstorms that are producing hail according to uh, Doppler radar so we're taking a left here on 
Longview Drive. We're going to head back into the neighborhood where we live. And right now, probably about 200, 250 yards away from our house. Still a little bit of lightning we can see off in the distance. We're going to go ahead and turn off the emergency lights that I'm running. See the wind picked up a good bit. We've got a bunch of leaves and sticks in the road. Kayla was saying earlier, normally if the wind blows hard enough to straighten out a flag, it knocks our power out. Hopefully that's not the case. A lot of times the power will be on right here at this intersection, but off past it. But it looks like we have lights, so we get to come home to electricity, and I can go ahead and there was my antenna popping a tree and we're pulling into the driveway and we've had a interesting little night of watching a storm come in get in the middle of it and get some video for it thanks for watching have a good night